Hello, everyone. This is Richard from Modern Health Span. Today, I'm going through a clinical trial of NMN from Japan, which showed some improvement in arterial stiffness and a reduction of vascular age. Here is the paper, NAD Metabolism and Arterial Stiffness After Long-Term NMN Supplementation, a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trial. Please note that this is a preprint, so has not been peer-reviewed yet. First, a quick overview of the paper. The intervention was for 12 weeks with oral NMN supplementation. There were 36 healthy participants aged between 40 and 65 years old. One dropped out of each group, leaving 17 in each. They were given 125 milligrams of NMN to be taken twice a day, so a total of 250 milligrams. The instructions were to take the supplement after a meal. They looked at the metabolites of NAD in the blood and did see an increase in nicotinamide. And they measured arterial stiffness with pulse wave velocity, which showed a non-significant decrease in the NMN group. To confirm the safety of NMN, they checked many of the key biomarkers before and after the study, such as weight, blood glucose, other blood markers, and so on. There was no significant change in either group, and we can see all the p-values are greater than 0.05. This is interesting because a meta-analysis from March of this year showed that NMN did improve the lipid profile. It is possible that the dose and cohort size is too small to show the effects in this study. In this study, they look specifically for changes in arterial stiffness. Let's have a quick look at how this is measured. Our arteries tend to get stiffer with age, and this is correlated with cardiovascular disease. One of the ways of measuring this is to check the pulse wave velocity, which is a measure of how fast a pulse travels through the arteries. It is calculated by measuring a pulse from the heartbeat at two locations. In this case, they used arteries in the arm and ankle, or brachial ankle PWV. As the arteries become stiffer, this makes the wave move faster, and the speed can be used to determine the level of the stiffness. Here are the results in a table. We can see that the NMN group did see a reduction from baseline, though the p-value did not reach significance. And here are the results in a graphical format, where we can clearly see the improvements in the NMN group. They also looked at subsets of the participants. First, those who had a higher BMI. In this case, the difference in the PWV score was significant, though it looks like some of this was due to an increase in the placebo result, so I am not clear what this would mean and those with a higher blood glucose, which was again significant, and this time there was no change in the placebo value. Pulse wave velocity correlates well with age and can be used to determine a vascular age. They saw that according to this measurement, the NMN group's vascular age had been reduced by two years, whereas the placebo group saw a small increase in age. Looking at the background to the trial, the NMN was provided by DHC, a Japanese supplement company. Though when searching on the net, I was unable to find any NMN product available from them. They also provided the funding. The authors declare no competing interests. The study looks promising for the impact of NMN on vascular health, but the results are inconclusive. It is encouraging to see an improvement in vascular age with such a low dose. They did also see improvements in PWV in patients with higher than average glucose and BMI. In terms of the low dosage, this may be a factor of the time it takes to complete a trial, as the safety results of the larger doses may not have been available when the trial was designed. It would be great to see a larger study with a larger dosage to see if this can reproduce or improve on these results. Yeah.